It's interesting just to see different styles within photojournalism. You have several. You have Margaret Burkwhite, you have Susan Mysalis, you have Lindsay Adario. And they all bring a different style to their photojournalism. Margaret Burkwhite is working primarily in film black and white, whereas you have Susan Mysalis who is working in color along with Lindsay Adario in color. But different kind of styles within their portraiture. This show is following women photographers from the mid-19th century until today we have a vast variety of the subject matter being shown from photojournalism to still life photography and we have some really incredible female photographers shown. They all have had a very big impact on photographic history. These female photographers were doing things that maybe weren't totally accepted during their time. And some of them were able to do things that maybe men weren't able to witness. For example, Margaret Burke White was able to make women comfortable while they're doing the work that they're doing for their country. She was the first female photographer with Life magazine, and she did a lot of their photojournalism. She covered things like World War II. She covered a lot of the women that were impactful in the war, following them in the industry where they were working. There's a vast variety of perspectives here. We do have photographers like Carrie Mae Weems. She is one of the most impactful photographers of our time today. She's covering works from African-American perspective and subject matter where maybe people are disenfranchised and commenting on those through her imagery. Olivia Parker's pieces, they're following her husband's Alzheimer's. I think it's the fallout after he's passed, but kind of her working through grief and following the progression of the disease, what he experienced. Ruth Barnard, she captured the female body and the figure in a way that men hadn't. Photographers like Lindsay Adario, she's a photojournalist. She works in places like the Middle East and where men wouldn't have access. Lindsay Adario does a lot of war photography and migration, fleeing from war. Susan Mysalis does a lot of war photography as well. Dorothea Lang's migrant mother. That's a really important photo to history covering the Depression era and kind of the mother's relationship there. That one is alongside Susan Mysalis's photo of a woman fleeing her hometown of Nicaragua because of the war. So those two images side by side, it's interesting to see the protection of their child, but very different circumstances. Nine of the 11 photographers shown here today have been inducted into the International Photography Hall of Fame. We honor photographers that have made a significant impact in the field.